Hello students, today we're going to learn about fraction. Looking back, a fraction shows a part of a whole. A whole can be a collection. For example, 1 by 4 and 3 by 5. Here we have numerator divided by denominator. A fraction that has 1 as a numerator is called a unit fraction. You're familiar with the following types of fraction. Like fraction, unlike fraction, proper fraction, and improper fraction. Finding equivalent fraction. Mrs. Sam baked two cakes of the same size. She divided one cake into two equal parts and gave one by two to her daughter. She divided the other cake into four equal parts and gave two by four to her son. Here, one by two is equal to two by four. Both got the same amount. We can find equivalent fraction by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number. For example, one by two. One into four by two into four is equal to 4 by 8. 2 by 3. 2 into 2 by 3 into 2 is equal to 4 by 6. We can also find equivalent fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. For example, Pia's painted 4 by 6 of a wall. Prativa painted 2 by 3 of another wall. Take Pia's fraction 4 by 6 and divide both numerator and denominator by any common fractal other than 1. 4 by 6. 4 divided by 2. By 6 divided by 2 is equal to 2 by 3. Both Pia's and Pratiba painted the same amount. Checking equivalent fraction. Rahul studied for 2 by 5th of an hour and Raju studied for 6 or 15 of an hour. Did they both study for same amount of time? If you want to check whether two fractions are equivalent, we must cross multiply. 2 by 5 and 6 by 15. 5 into 6 is equal to 13. 2 into 15 is equal to 13. Since the cross products are equal, the fractions are equivalent. Answer. Rahul and Raju both studied for same amount of time. Are 2 by 5 and 4 by 7 equivalent? 2 by 5 and 4 by 7. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. 2 into 7 is equal to 14. Since the cross product are not equal, the fractions are not equivalent. Answer. 2 by 5 and 4 by 7 are not equivalent. Reducing a fraction to its lowest term. When you multiply both the terms of a fraction by the same number, you get an equivalent fraction. For example, 1 by 2, 1 into 2 by 2 into 2 is equal to 2 by 4. Or 1 by 2, 1 into 3 by 2 into 3 is equal to 3 by 6. Here, 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 3 by 6 are all equivalent fraction. But, 1 by 2 is the fraction in its lowest term. A fraction is in the lowest term when the only common factor between the numerator and the denominator is 1. A fraction can be reduced to its lowest form by the following methods. Abu and Amina were trying to reduce the fraction 18 by 13 to its lowest term. Amina's way. Keep dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number till you cannot divide further. So, 18 by 30, 18 divided by 2 by 30 divided by 2 is equal to 9 by 15. 
9 divided by 3 by 15 divided by 3 is equal to 3 by 5. Therefore, 3 by 5 is the lowest term of the fraction. Abu's way. You can also reduce a given fraction to its lowest term in just one step by finding the SCF of both the terms and then divided by it. The SCF of 18 and 30 is 6. Divide both the terms by 6. 18 by 30. 18 divided by 6 by 30 divided by 6 is equal to 3 by 5. Therefore, 3 by 5 is the lowest term fraction of 18 by 30. Do you prefer Abu's way or Amina's way? In both the way, you can get the answer. Comparing fractions. Like fractions, Arun, Aman and Bitto travel for a long jump at the school sports meet. These are the lengths they jumped. Whose jump was longest and whose was the shortest? Arun. Arun jumped 7 by 10 of the length. Aman jumped 5 by 10 of the length. Bitto jumped 8 by 10 of the length. Like fractions are easy to compare since the denominators are the same. We compare the numerators and the greater numerator is the greater fraction. Bitto 8 by 10, Arun 7 by 10 and Aman 5 by 10. Therefore, Bitto's jump was the longest and Aman's was the shortest. Rearrange this fraction in ascending order. 5 by 13, 2 by 13, 6 by 13, 11 by 13, and 1 by 13. The answer would be 1 by 13, lesser than 2 by 13, lesser than 5 by 13, lesser than 6 by 13, and finally less than 11 by 13. Unlike fractions. To compare unlike fractions, we must first change them to like fraction. Fractions with the same numerator. For example, Shikha ate 1 by 3 of a pizza. Sushia ate 1 by 4 of her pizza. Who ate more? Find the equivalent fraction of 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 such that they are like fraction. 1 by 3 is equal to 2 by 6 is equal to 3 by 9 is equal to 4 by 12. 1 by 4 is equal to 2 by 8 is equal to 3 by 12. Therefore, 4 by 12 is greater than 3 by 12, so answer would be 1 by 3 is greater than 2 by 6. So, Shikha ate more. In unlike fraction with the same numerator, the fraction with greater denominator is the smaller fraction. For example, Rearrange this fraction in descending order. We have 5 by 6, 5 by 12, 5 by 7, 5 by 16, and 5 by 13. The answer would be 5 by 6 greater than 5 by 7, greater than 5 by 12, greater than 5 by 13, and greater than 5 by 16. We have the second question to say, rearrange this fraction in ascending order. So now, pause the video and do by yourself and resume the video to see the answer. The question is given. The answer would be 7 by 17 less than 7 by 15 less than 7 by 11 less than 7 by 10 less than 7 by 9. Fractions with different numerators. Later, Shika ate 3 by 4 of a pizza and Sushia ate 5 by 6. Now, who had eaten more? Change the unlike fraction into like fraction. So, 3 by 4 becomes 6 by 8 and then 9 by 12. 5 by 6 becomes 10 by 12. Thus, 9 by 12 is less than 10 by 12. Answer, 3 by 4 is less than 5 by 6. So, Sushia ate more. Using a shortcut method. Is there a way to solve this problem in a much shorter way? Yes, there is. Let's say we are given 2 by 3 and 4 by 5. Then how do we find out the answer? Number 1. Find the LCM of 3 and 5. The LCM is 15. 
Number two, convert the given fraction into equivalent fraction with denominator 15. So we have 2 by 3, 2 into 5 by 3 into 5 is equal to 10 by 15. 4 by 5, 4 into 3 by 5 into 3 is equal to 12 by 15. Thus, 10 by 15 is less than 12 by 15. And our answer would be 2 by 3 is less than 4 by 5. Rearrange the following fraction in both ascending and descending order. Given to us 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 5 by 6 and 3 by 8. Convert them into like fraction. LCM of denominators 2, 3, 6, 8 is equal to 24. 1 by 2 is equal to 1 into 12 by 2 into 12 which is equal to 12 by 24. 2 into 3 is equal to 2 into 8 by 3 into 8 which is equal to 16 by 24. 5 into 6 is equal to 5 into 4 by 6 into 4 that's equal to 20 by 24. 3 by 8 is equal to 3 into 3 by 8 into 3 that's equal to 9 by 24. In ascending order the answer would be 9 by 24, 12 by 24, 16 by 24 and 20 by 24. In the simplest form the answer is going to be 3 by 8 less than 1 by 2, less than 2 by 3 and less than 5 by 6. In descending order the answer would be 20 by 24, 16 by 24, 12 by 24 and 9 by 24. That is 5 by 6 greater than 2 by 3, greater than 1 by 2, greater than 3 by 8. Today we have learned about finding equivalent fraction, checking equivalent fraction, reducing a fraction to its lowest term, as well as comparing fraction to both like and unlike fraction including. So see you in the next video of part 2 of fraction, which will learn about addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of fraction. Until then, keep learning and thank you so much for watching my video and you have done a great job today and I'm so proud of you. So please do subscribe to my channel if you have found this video helpful to you and please do show it to your friends if you want them to learn fraction as well. Until then, keep learning my students and see you next time with fraction part 2 about addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Thank you.